and welcome to Who to the Curve. And this is a Robert Ruiz rant. And today we're going to be talking on Make It Till You Make It, Mastering the Art of Pretending You Know. The phrase, you better act like you know, it's a command that drips with authority. A challenge to step up and pretend you have all the answers, even when you're floundering in a sea of uncertainty. Let's explore this delightful directive with the generous helping of sarcasm and humor. Let's speak on You better act like you know, the art of pretending to have it all together. Welcome to the world of You Better Act Like You Know, where confidence is key and actual knowledge is optional. It's a phrase that demands you put a brave face, nod sagely, and hope no one notices you're completely clueless. It's the ultimate test of your acting skills, a high stakes game of bluffing where the only rule is to never let them see you sweat. Let's speak on the workplace. A hot bed of pretending. Nowhere is the art of acting like you know more prevalent than the workplace. Whether you're a fresh-faced intern or a seasoned executive, there's always a moment when you ask to do something that makes you want to scream, I have no idea what I'm doing. But instead, you smile and nod and say, absolutely, I'll get right on that. Take meetings, for example. They're the perfect stage for showcasing your ability to act like you know. You're sitting there, surrounded by colleagues who are all nodding in agreement with the latest corporate jargon, synergy, vertical integration, blockchain. Who even knows what these words mean? But you nod along, furiously taking notes and hoping no one asks for your input. Because if they do, you'll have to pull out your best buzzwords and hope for the best. Let's speak on social situation, the ultimate test. Social situations are another arena where acting like you know is crucial. Picture this, you're at a party and someone starts talking about the latest political scandal or the intricacies of quantum physics. You have two choices, admit you have no idea what they're talking about or nod along and throw in a few interesting and fascinating comments. Spoiler alert, most people choose the latter. And let's not forget the dreaded moment when someone asks for your opinion on a topic you know nothing about. What do you think about the economic implications of the latest trade agreement? They ask. You take a deep breath, channel your inner politician and say something vague like, well, it's certainly a complex issue with many factors to consider. Congratulations. You have just successfully acted like you know. Let's speak on parenting, the ultimate bluff. If there's one area where acting like you know is essential, it's parenting. From the moment your child is born, you're expected to have all the answers. Why is the sky blue? How do airplanes stay in the air? Why can't I have ice cream for breakfast? You can't just say, I don't know, because that would shatter the illusion that you have everything under control. Instead, you come up with the plausible sounding explanations and hope they don't ask too many follow-up questions. Let's speak on the secret. Confidence is key. So what's the secret to acting like you know? Confidence. It's all about projecting an air of certainty. Even when you're internally screaming, walk with purpose, speak with conviction, and never let them see you doubt yourself. Remember, most people are just as clueless as you are. They're just better at hiding it. In the end, you better act like you know is a mantra for navigating the complexities of modern life. It's a reminder that sometimes pretending to have all the answers is just as important as actually having them. So embrace the act, not along, throw in a few buzzwords, and remember, confidence is key. After all, in the grand theater of life, we're all just playing our parts. Thank you for listening to Who to the Curb. Don't forget to like us, share us, and subscribe. Thanks.